God bless you guys. This is Sean here from Faith Brings Change. I just want to come on here and address something because I know messages get mixed up the wrong way. And I want to be clear that I'm not talking to everybody. I'm talking to a specific brother. Because I notice, I can notice people can get triggered sometimes. And I guess maybe I understand that. I'm not going to like be like argumentative or anything. But, um, you know, the message basically said if you love... Now, if you love people, you will warn them. Well, what I want to say, I want to address that. When I posted my last video that said, uh, I love you, my people. Uh, first of all, guys, you know, uh, talking to you, brother, specifically, you know, I'm the king of warning. And I I do, you might be new to this channel or, or new to some of the things you see here. But for the people that have been on here, they'll tell you I'm the king of warning. People tell me I'm... I go too far, you know, uh, I mentioned it before, you know, I'm, I know I say it bluntly, but that's what Yeshua told me. I'm this Elijah person. And it said in the codes, you know, he'll be, he's a menace to his people and it's for the warnings. And I'm literally a menace to my people for the amount of warnings and rebukes I have to give. But every place has a time and a season. And I've, and I've, and I've did a, done a lot of warnings and I will continue to do that, but not, there are some messages that are targeted to specific individuals who are hurting that I actually one particular talked to on the phone and I'm not going to say who it was that I talked to, but that person was going through stuff and, and, and they are going through stuff. And, and so I'm going to freely love them and I'm not going to be afraid to speak what God puts on my heart towards somebody. Cause some of these messages in the book of Isaiah, you see him rebuking harshly I mean, you read that last message. Uh, uh, it's no different than the book of Isaiah or anything. And some of them are hard chapters, hard rebukes. Some of them I'm trying to minister to people who are already at the repentant stage. This is one of that the the people in particular. And this is that message that I sent last for the, was for the particular people in that group that uh, have repented. And and but but in their mind. The problem is they're getting chased, and, and we have to be careful with this sometimes, guys, even in the holiness movie, getting chased by the religious voices, because there are people like me that repent. That message that I put out was specifically what God was saying to me ab about me, and I felt it applied to other people because I've already given up my sins. And But I hear voices of the world and, and also of other churches and maybe even churches that are that are in the right holiness new movement but they in the past have rejected me because i was too loud or i was too this or i was too that or i was too whatever but but the truth was i wasn't walking in any sin and i'm not in any sin i'm in holiness and so these are the kind of voices i hear in my head from the past and it, you know like saying you're no good you're nothing and even though i'm walking in the lord and I was hearing yesterday, uh, having a dream, and this guy was saying, you're so effing vain. And this guy, it, we, he was a foreigner, and he was from another faith, and just attacking me, attacking me, attacking me. And I just was quiet. And then somebody uh, rose up in the dream. I know it was an angel, but I, I, I actually, I believe it was the Lord. There were angels around, but he comes in the form of my sister in, in the dreams a lot of times. And, and he said, get him out of here. Get him out of here. And he was so angry, and they just threw him out. And so we have to be careful, guys when we're making videos that we don't assume things about other people that that is not true and and look and investigate and just go on my channel and scroll down to my videos my gosh you'll see i don't tell i tell people that if they sin their names are blotted out of the book of life they they're following saint at that time their names are immediately erased so i can't see how much more of a, a straight error i can be you know i tell them they have to they uh it's it's wicked to say you know, we all make mistakes. We're going to continue to make mistakes because it's prophesying failure. And and I've I've been adamant about saying that. I've attacked things that men in the church wouldn't attack, like makeup and things, and talked about, you know, all that stuff. And so I don't I don't have anything to I'll, I'll speak lightly, you know, respectively. I don't have anything to prove it to anybody. But when God puts something on my heart and there's somebody out there really hurting that I need to minister to and help, I'm going to put all that aside. I'm not going to care what I think. And I may choose titles that may, may if I would have chosen a title, God loves you, but you must repent. I may do that to satisfy somebody else, but it would be at the expense of somebody else that's hurting that I already know is repenting. And what they don't need to hear 
is that part right then because they are already repenting. They need to be ministered in the, in the area of love because they, they're up on that repentance thing. They're right there. But the love part, they need they need more to show more love. And, and it's unfortunate that sometimes there are people out there, guys, that or the most devoted to Yeshua, and they're the the poorest people out there that are hurting the most. They're following, willing to uh, go over the moon for Yeshua, and they are. But sometimes they get pushed out of the church because people maybe don't like, you know, whatever it is about them, and it's not sin at all. It's not even sin. It's just whatever it is about them. They don't seem strong enough, or they don't seem. And, and let me tell you guys, I've been, I've been there where I've tried to be so strong and so bold and all that stuff. Sometimes it's good to be weak in the Lord. And and weak in the Lord doesn't mean you're sinning, doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. And and we have to be able to manage where other people's faith are. One thing Yeshua talked to me: not everybody's faith is at the same level yours is. And I'm not saying about sin. I just mean some people are broken hearted and they're not up there rejoicing. And, and Yeshua says he's not only up there on the mountain, he's in the valley with people. We have to be able to get in people's pain and sometimes and see where they are. And at that particular point, you know, and I make no apologies about the video I made out there, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, but I, I love you. I'm praying for you. You know who you are. And if, yeah, if you got sin, you need to repent, but... Uh, to those out there who are already at that stage and they've already given up their sin. And right now, at this point, they're trying to find somewhere to go. I'm I'm ministering to them to get them back because I know if I do that, they will do what the Lord wants. And, and these people that I'm, uh, this particular person, you know, I minister to when I put out my video is a person that puts out uh, videos for the Lord. And there's, I don't see people doing that. I don't see very many people doing that. So, at least this person, you know, they're doing something. They're 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 trying to reach Yeshua, and that's more than I can say for most of the church. You know, they're trying to reach it, and I didn't. I don't hear any guile coming out of their mouth when I talk to them. I don't hear any like bad things, and and so you know, that's just me ministering to them. I'm going to continue to do that, but I love you guys. I'm going to let you go. Uh, I'm praying for you all. Uh, till next time. Shalom.